we welcome you to New York City. Sold out inside the famed Madison Square Garden Arena. And the crowd cannot wait to get started. As our main event of the evening promises to be one of the best in UFC history. Hi again, everybody. I'm Mike Goldberg, and welcome once again to the Ultimate Fighting Championship. The belt is on the line, and the winner walks away with the most coveted title in the sport today. With me, as always, my partner, Joe Rogan. Joe, I'll tell you what, tonight's matchup is incredible. It's unbelievable, Mike. We have a challenger who has annihilated the competition to get to this position, and some say the champion has never faced a test like this guy. Tonight is going to answer a lot of questions. It all will be settled inside the octagon. A huge main event. In fact, this whole card contains great matchups. Let's take a look at our rules of the octagon. Three judges score the bout, the bout duration three five-minute rounds. Tonight's championship fight is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. A 10-point must scoring system is in effect, with the round winner gaining 10 points, his opponent nine or less, based on effective striking, grappling, aggression, and octagon control. A proven competitor and top-ranked welterweight, Josh Koscheck is a gifted athlete who enters the octagon a seasoned veteran. And with world-class wrestling combined with heavy hands, he runs over any competitor that gets in his way. A grappler with an impressive MMA resume, John Fitch skyrocketed up the welterweight rankings before losing a decision to the champion George St. Pierre. Bouncing back, Fitch once again battled his way to the top of the division and looks to cement his place here with a victory tonight. Coming up next, it's the UFC interim welterweight title fight between the former Purdue wrestling captain, John Fitch, and former Division I national wrestling champion, Josh Koscheck. Josh Koscheck set to enter the world-famous octagon once again. Koscheck is a former NCAA national champion wrestler. He's very athletic, has great quickness, and he also has knockout power in his hands, whether he's standing or utilizing his ground and pound. Josh Koscheck ready to throw down and put on a show. John Fitch making his way to the world-famous Octagon. John Fitch is a very determined competitor. He works extremely hard in the gym, fights with a ton of heart, and has one of the most impressive records in the division. He's an outstanding wrestler, a black belt under Dave Camarillo, and a cardio machine. John Fitch fired up and ready to go. Our Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Boost Mobile. And now with the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. And now, five rounds for the UFC Walterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall. Weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Fresno, California, Josh Koscheck! And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighter. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of San Jose, California, John P. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. All right, gentlemen, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Mike Goldberg with Joe Rogan. And we are ready to start round one. Are you ready to fight? Josh Koscheck, John Fitch. 
And here we go. On, John go. Fitch is a perfect example. Not that he's not talented, Joe, but he's a perfect example that hard work beats talent when talent refuses to work hard. That certainly is the case. If you're a guy who does not work hard, you fight John Fitch, you're going to get your ass kicked. One, six, two, five. Red kick. Body shots. Good sprawl. Oh. Side control. He's moving north-south, looking for a choke. He decides to let him up. Oh, we got tangled the hook. Close range here, Joe. He's got him pressed up against the cage here, working for control. Nice left and a right. Nice double leg. Passes to half guard. Postures up. Big right hand and back to full guard. Passes, moves into half guard. Good transition. Cross check is bleeding here, Mike. All right, so they're back on their feet. Keep pressuring them once you get a move back. He caught the kick. Real face, real face. He takes him down again. Get your feet on his head. Get on your feet. Under 90 seconds remains in round one. Moves into half guard here, Mike. Trying to scoot his opponent up towards the fence. Joe, this is smart strategy right here, moving his opponent up against the cage, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to definitely impede his mobility. He's in the full guard here. Oh! Oh, he's looking for an ankle lock. Trying to remain calm, see if he can break out of this. Trying to turn oh, out of it, he does. Escapes, Beautiful. very nice. Round one is complete. Ah. Difficult round to score, Joe. Definitely. There wasn't much action, and you never know how a judge weighs a takedown over, say, a jab. Very tough round to call. You, round, you got to fight. Win you win this round, you got to fight. Okay. Let's take a look at the replay from that round, Mike. And here we see the takedown finally get finished. A lot of struggle to get that. And look at the speed on this takedown here. So much athleticism. This is the round he's going to break. You hear me? You've got to take it to him. You can dump him and control him. The beautiful Ariani gets us set for round number two. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? We start round two. Come this on, fight's scheduled go. for five, five-minute rounds. One six, over and over. No, no, no. Push body kick. Body kick. He caught the leg, and down he goes. He dives on him into the guard with that punch. Half guard. Into his guard. Fighter on the bottom is, is trying to escape, but he's unable to. He's in full guard. Pushes him off with the feet. Oh, he lets him up. Oh, spinning back kick. One 
He is teeing off right now. Got to take down again. He's past nice. the half guard. He passes. Side control. He's going for the north-south position. Back to side control. Back to their feet. Stuffed. Make it work. Make it work. Get that double goal. Get that double goal. Nice body kick. Drops down for a double. Again, the takedown is stuffed. Oh, but he ate a left hand. He caught the kick. Joe, that big kick absolutely dropped him. Yeah, he kicked his legs out from under him there. Very effective technique. Looking to wall walk. 90 seconds remains in the second. Great reversal. Moves into full mount here. Under a minute remains. Trying to get to a dominant position, Joe. He's, He's got, got the, the back. back. He's got both hooks in. Trying to flatten out his opponent. Working hard to try to get out of this bad spot. Wow, that right hand. Back to their feet. 30 seconds remains in the round. Joe mixing up his strikes very well. Great combinations. I like the way he's mixing these up. Two rounds in the books. Three rounds to go in this UFC title fight. A superb display of mixed martial arts skills from both fighters. Yeah, these are two very well-rounded guys, Mike. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments they make before going into the next round. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round, Mike. Here is that counter strike that landed clean. And this was that hard fought takedown to get the fight to the mat. And here's an example of perfect timing to intercept. All right, go, all right. Go. Start the hey, you never get the cage, you turn him. I want you to lean and do it. The beautiful Brittany gets us set for round three. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? And we are set for Come the on, start of round three. This is a championship fight, so it is scheduled for five, five minute rounds. Nice sprawl, good takedown defense. He ate that one. Man, that knee landed heavy. Boom! Man, those are knockout punches, Joe. Vicious punches from the top, Mike. Back on their feet. Trying to get this fight down to the ground. Gets a takedown. He's got side control. He's in the full mount, Joe. He's pulling on the back of his head from his back to try. He's got his back. Got the over under here. Oh! Side control again. Oh! And mount again. Oh, good hip escape from the bottom. Moved into half guard. Oh, he got reversed. Good ground and pound. Nice right hand. Oh, big shots from the top. And now they're back to their feet. Nice job, double leg. Now into side control. He ate that one. He's got over under here from the back. Into full guard here. Able to pass to half guard. Big right hand. Boom. Full guard here. 
Just over a minute remains. He tried to escape, controlling the top position. Now he's pushing his opponent up against the cage, which is going to take away some of his mobility. Oh, he gets reversed. And now there's also a cut on Fitch. 30 seconds remains in the round. Full mount. This is not good. You've got better position. Good job hip escaping there. Moves to half guard. There we go. Back to mount again. And that takes us to the end of round number three. We head to the championship rounds. Man, they really mixed it up in that round, Joe. Yeah, both these guys are very well rounded, and they had a chance to show it in there. Let's go to the replay of that round, Mike. Very nice takedown here. Don't vary from the game plan. Are you paying attention to me? Don't vary. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? We are in the championship round. On, round four. Some serious moves from the crowd here, Mike. They are not enjoying this. Now looking for the takedown. He wants the double. Good takedown defense. Oh, nice counter left hook right there. Outstanding takedowns. Looking to force his opponent up against the cage, Joe. Pushing his opponent away. He shoots in. He's got the takedown. He's staying on top of him, controlling the position. Pushes him off with the feet, and he lets him back up. Under three minutes now. Good sprawl. He caught the leg. He's down. Takes him down. Who's in a half guard? Nicely done. Total control from the top position. A oh, good counter. What an exchange here. Oh, nice, nice knee. knee. Pulls the legs out. He's got him down. Nicely done. Good execution. Pushing his opponent away. Fitch got hit on the same spot. That cut has really started to open up now. He shoots. Stuffed. 30 seconds remains in the round. Nice. Oh, big right hand. He's down. Somehow he's able to get up. They clinch again. They have worked into the deep waters. Four rounds complete. One round remains in this UFC title fight. Solid action to take us into the fifth. Yeah, these guys are showing why they're at the top of their division. Good boxing, good wrestling, good jiu-jitsu. Every aspect of their game is rock solid. Let's check out some of... Right? You feel him open that guard. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? 
This is the fifth on, and it. final round. Oh, wow. wow! Looping hook there. And now he's answered. He is this just keying away. And another takedown. Pushes him off of the feet. He lets him up. He is taking a beating. Oh, uppercut, he's down. Oh. Nice right hand. He looked hurt, but he recovered quick. He's got both hooks in. Joe, this is dangerous. And he is punishing his opponent. Good combination. That's a huge uppercut. The clinch game once again. Oh! Oh! Big left hook! Followed up by the kick. Oh! Those are vicious! What an onslaught of attack here. He drops him with the uppercut. He ate that one. Oh, this might be the end. Oh, but he recovers. He's got the back mount here. Both hooks in. Two minutes now remains in the fight. Nice sprawl, good takedown defense. Oh, beautiful! That's it, it's over. Left hand finishes the fight. What a performance! He defends the UFC welterweight title. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, one second of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the UFC welterweight champion of the world, John Fitch remains the UFC welterweight champion.